Welcome back to another episode of You Stare at a Picture While I Randomly Talk About Levels of Classification! Yay! Anyways, today I'll be going over the classification and taxonomy of the Bengal Tiger, which I went over in my last Animal Facts video. First up, we have Kingdom. Similar to the African Elephant, the Kingdom of the Bengal Tiger is Animalia, which is the Kingdom of all animals, hence why it is called Animalia. As for phylum, as we know from the last taxonomy video I did, what decides whether or not the animal is put into this phylum is whether or not it has a backbone. Seeing as how the Bengal tiger is a vertebrate and it does have a backbone, it, backbone, <laughs> it is put into the phylum of Chordata. I keep saying Chordata, it's actually Chordata. Yeah. Next up we have class. Just like the African elephant, the class of the Bengal tiger is Mammalia. As we know, examples of mammals include, obviously, the Bengal tiger, we have the African elephant, sea otters, river otters, um, and even dolphins are actually considered mammals. As for the order of the Bengal tiger, it is carnivora. Judging, judging by its name, it is put, the Bengal tiger is put into carnivora because it is a carnivore. Carnivora is actually the most diverse order of all the mammalian orders because there are a lot of um, carnivores and some are small, some are very large, and they are all very, very different. Now, as we know, that the reason that they are called carnivores and what puts them into that category is the fact that they eat meat and not plants. You have herbivores, you have omnivores, and you have carnivores. Carnivores eat meat, herbivores eat plants, and omnivores eat both, such as humans. The family of the Bengal tiger is Felidae. Now, Felidae is where the word feline comes from. All cats are considered felines. So basically meaning all, member, all the members of Felidae are cats, whether it be from the house cats that you have as pets, or a gigantic Bengal tiger in the forest of Nepal. Now for the genus. The genus of the Bengal tiger is Panthera, which is also part of the scientific name or binomial name, Panthera tigris tigris. Now, the species of the Bengal tiger is kind of weird because the genus was Panthera, but the species is Panthera tigris. But the binomial name is Panthera tigris tigris. So I'm not sure where the second tigris comes from, but I'm not a scientist and I didn't create the system of binomial nomenclature, so whatever, we're just gonna go with it. I actually forgot to list the examples of um, other animals and other animal species inside of the genus of Panthera. So I'm gonna go through it. The other species in Panthera include all the big cats, whether it be a panther, a lion, a tiger, um, what's another one? Cheetah, jaguar. All the big cats are under Panthera. As for uh, species, it is, um, hmm. I'm not sure if it's only this the Bengal tiger or all tiger. Okay, so apparently the Bengal tiger is a subspecies of the tiger, which means all different types of tigers from around the world are place, placed under the same species. Well, anyways, that is it for this episode of Taxonomy for the Bengal tiger. I am working on my next animal fact video and it should be released soon. Again, as we all know, we never know with me, especially since school's starting again tomorrow, but I'm gonna try and get it done today, uh, edit it, and post it. So, we'll see. Hopefully I can get it out today. Um, anyways, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and remember, we can make a difference.